on YouTube because some people cannot be here and they need to 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 go over this. Okay, tarara, tarara, tarara. So people, uh, we have the verb number one. Uh, uh, sorry. Number one. The group number one is simple. To all verbs, we just add ed, like one, one, like, liked, play, played. Aquí ya pueden escuchar ustedes las tres diferentes pronunciaciones, the three pronunciations. Number one, want, wanted, like, Liked, play, played. Este, esta ed, esta ed, sorry, esta ed, we read it tal y como lo, le, lo, lo leemos, wanted. This one con sonido de T. Quiere decir que esta ed lleva el sonido de T. And this one, el sonido de D. Pero ¿cuándo vamos a saber si es D o T? Ya vamos a saber eso. Ahorita, we are analyzing the um, writing, the spelling. This is group number one. Group number two. Uh, Michelle, can you please read this? Infinity more ed es one wanted like like it play player mm -hmm. yeah so uh, this is liked played now this group number two Michelle ending e more d all right all right hey hate love love very good. So in this one, remember that we are, estamos viendo cuando le agregamos ed a los verbos. In this case, como el verbo ya termina en, en e, look, this arrive, it finishes with e, hate with e, love with e. The only thing, la única cosa is de, the letter d. That's the only the only thing that we have to do. Arrived, arrived. Hate, hated. Love, loved. Okay, this is the one. Uh, Michelle, give me a name. Mm, Karen. Okay, Karen, you read group number three. And the consonant. Try, yeah. try it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, in this ending consonant plus Y. This is important. Welcome. Calmate. No se puede volver a hacer. Yo no me fijé, Ana, porque vos tu compu. No se dan a conocer personas que hayan. Good. So this is very important. The verb that finishes with R with consonant. Plus Y. The verb that finishes with consonant plus Y. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? We take this off and we write it tried. This try 
becomes to tried. Why? Because we have here a consonant and we have a Y, the letter Y. That's the reason. Karen, give me a name. Um, um, Raquel. Rachel, read group number four. One syllable verse CBC double the consonant AD plus Plan planet D. Mm -hmm. D. Sorry, stop, stop it. Stop. Stop. Ya vamos stop. a ver la pronunciation. Don't worry. No se preocupen. Now, group number four. Group number four. The group number four is one syllable. Una syllable, meaning plan, stop. Es una, una one syllable. Y que el verbo eh, tenga consonant, vowel, consonant. Aquí miren, consonant, vowel, consonant. In that case, cuando sea de una sola sílaba con consonant, vowel, consonant, tenemos que doblar la última consonante. In this case, it's N. Plan, plan, meaning double N. Stop, stopped. Double P. Double P, stopped. Okay? Un review, un review. All of these are regular verbs. Can anyone tell me, can anyone tell me what is uh, the characteristic of the regular verbs cuando se escriben, when we write them? E-D. E-D. That's the characteristic of the regular verbs when we write them. The ed. You see, wanted it. ed, 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 ed. Okay. Now, to write ed, there are some rules. Uh, number one. Number one is simple. We just write one wanted. We just add them the ed. A esto verbo viene ed. That's group number one. Group number two. Si el verbo termina, si el verbo ya termina en e, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? We just have to add, we just have to write the D. Like, no podemos escribir arrived con doble E y luego la D. No, porque como ya está la E, we just add the D. Right? Group number three. The group number three, if the verse finishes in consonant, and why, tenemos que hacer this conversion, miren, de esta why lo convertimos a I, E, D. Solamente si tenemos aquí consonant. Look at this example. Porque aquí nos escribió plaide, plaied. Because aquí está la, la Y, la letter Y. But here... We have a vowel, una vocal. Entonces, in this case, no hacemos conversion, only ed. Okay? And this, and this one, yes, cuando, when we have consonant plus y. And the last one, is if it is one syllable, 
and consonant vowel consonant we, what we have to do is that we have to double the consonant meaning look and 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 the p p p okay this is about when writing the regular verbs right and um use of the so that's the, those are some of the rules of the um, of these um regular verbs now the pronunciation the pronunciation we have pronunciation number one the ed we are going to have it we are going to do it like um t look okay this ed we pronounce it as t this one also and this one too okay this ed we pronounce it at t so aquí, here you have the definition when the infinitive ends in a voiceless consonant p k k s blah blah blah, blah the best way is to do this i'm not sure if you can uh guys uh, do it no los puedo ver porque no quieren mostrar su your beautiful faces but i want you to do this your two fingers here do not stand uh sustainable the cell phone and <clears throat> What you have to do is that when you pronounce this number one, the first verb, let me see here. Like, uh, like, uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. L look, pronounce only uh, the verb like, like, like the Facebook. Like, like, like. No. We are going to pronounce the right. letter T. We are going to pronounce the letter T. When we pronounce the verb, y no tengamos vibraciones. If you pronounce like, si pronuncian like, like, pueden sentir ustedes de que no hay vibraciones al final. Like. Si pronuncian watch, no hay vibración aquí en, en cuanto a sus... I'm not sure si están sus cuerdas vo vocales o su garganta, pero no se sienten vibraciones. O otra forma de hacerlo es de que mantengan like, la, la, última, la última sílaba, por cinco segundos, que lo mantengan ese sonido. Like, no se puede, no hay sonido. Like, watch. Stop. No hay, no hay, no se puede mantener eso por cinco segundos, dos segundos. And there are no vibrations. So when you don't feel vibrations, when cuando pronuncian el verbo, you pronounce the T. Okay. Uh, cuando pronunciamos de ti, alguien puede responder, responder. When, cuando hay vibración, no, 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 cuando, hay vibración. no hay vibración. No hay vibración. Yes, miss. When, when, cuando, when you don't, cuando pronuncian el verbo, digan like, watch, stop, like, then, 
ustedes van a saber de que S E D you're going to pronounce it with letter T que es esta ok another way otra forma es normalmente cuando miren que el verbo termina en P K K S H S H etc right like this one like mean watch stop when the verb finishes in p c h s h k you pronounce the t that's group number one group number two the group number two is the opposite cuando sientan vibraciones you are going to pronounce the letter D. Solo cuando sientan vibración eh, en la última parte de la palabra. For example. Um, the, the part that I have highlighted, don't pronounce it. For example, let's repeat play. 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 Y I hope, <laughs> espero que estén haciendo con sus dedos, dedos o con una mano al menos. Aquí play. justo, in your throat, and you, and you say play. play. Everybody, play. Love. Love. And the next one is, I cannot see. Answer. 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 Now, these words, these words, we can keep them for two, three seconds. Play. Love. Answer. ¿Se escucha el sonido? Si hay sonido. So, when you feel vibrations and when you hear the sound at the end of the word, you pronounce the letter D. Played, loved, and the other answer. Right? Answer. Answer. And the next one. The ed. The pronunciation ed. Ed. Now, this is um, maybe not difficult. Maybe it's easy. Para algunos, pero para otros puede ser difficult. The only thing that you have to consider is that the verb, cuando el verbo finishes with the sound of T or D. That's the only thing. When the verb finishes with T or D, you pronounce it. So the verb want, wanted, decide, decided, hate, hated. Now let me let me write some stuff here because this is very important. Uh, look at this. 
pay attention to this. Um, and this last one, we said when the verb ends with T or D, then we are going to pronounce ed. Okay? So, in this case, miren, el verbo termina en cabal en T. So, we say wanted. But in this one, ustedes pueden ver que termina en E. En e. But, when we pronounce this, ustedes escuchan el sonido de D, no escuchan un sonido de E. Listen. Decide. Decide. So no se dice decide. Se dice decide. Ya me siento como la, la chica esta gringa. No se dice Nike, se dice Nike. Decide. You don't say decide. Por eso aquí es importante que tiene que ver que termine en que tenga sonido de T o de D. The sound of T o D. Decide, decided. And in this one, the same. Hate. 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 This we don't say hate. It. We say hate. Hate it. Right? Hate, hate it. Decide, decided. One, wanted. Okay? So. Let's pronounce the verbs. Jamilet, this verb, please, can you pronounce it? Like it. Remember that this liked like. belongs to this. So how, how it would be, Jamilet? Sí. Uh -huh, pronounce it, please. Like it. Very good, liked. Karen, this one? Watched. Very good. Watched. Eddie, this one? Okay. Stop. Very good. No. In this case, La ED no se escucha en la pronunciación. We use this one instead. So this, this would be Eddie? Stop. Stop. Excellent. Stopped. Liked. Watched. Stopped. Uh, let's continue. Miss Anna Ruth, can you pronounce this one? Play it. Played. Played. No se tiene que escuchar la ED. No se tiene ED. Se tiene que escuchar este. So, Played. Very good. Ahí, that's correct. And we continue with Fernando. This one. Love. Very good. Rachel, this one. Difficult. <laughs> Come on. Unsquared. Unsquared. Uh -huh. Answered. Uh, in this case, answered. in this case, esta W is mute. Answered. Very good. Answered. So we say played, loved, answered. We continue with uh, Michelle, this one. Want. Ah, uh, this one. Um, want. Mm -hmm. This is it. This belongs to the group number three. Uh huh. So we say. Want. Wanted. Wanted. Ajá. En this group number three, leemos la palabra tal y como eh, escuchamos la pronunciación agregándole eh, ed. Ok, so this would be 
Wanted. Marilyn, this one. Decide. What will be the past? Marilyn? So this one will be, guys, decided. Decided. And the last one, this last one, hate, hated. Okay? So, in the regular verbs, we have three pronunciations. The T, okay? The T, cuando el verbo no, no tenga vibración, cuando lo digamos, like, like, watch, stop. So then we add the T. And in this one, when we feel vibrations, we pronounce the D. And this one, cuando el verbo normalmente, mostly, va a terminar en T or D. Okay? That's the, the theme of these ones. Do you have questions? Teacher. Yes. Sorry, repeat uh, with uh, uh, with and uh, T. Uh, Group number like, three. Uh, this one. Uh, number one. Like. Huh? What? Like. What? Uh huh. Yeah, look, next. Watch. What? Is. And. Uh, Es igual casi que, que cuando no es uh, verbo regular, like, watch, stop, normal. What do you mean? In present? Mm -hmm. ah, la, in it's... present is like. Ajá. Uh -huh. Watch, stop. Ah, in, in past, regular is like, watch, stop. It's, it's similar. <laughs> more or less casi because uh, the verb we say uh, let me see this card in this case Eddie this we say, uh, let me see, just want to use, like, like, and this one, liked, watch, like. watched, stop, stopped. So se escucha, ta, ta. like, liked, watch, watched, stop, stopped. Right. Okay. I said the regular verbs. You're welcome. Somebody else has a question? People, no se queden con dudas, please. Esto es que resolvamos ahorita las... Any question? Mm -hmm. I love when my students ask me a lot. Let's continue. Um, no question. En el camino vamos a tener alguna que otra question. Now, um, now tell me just one thing. Los irregular verbs. Los irregular verbs. Alguien. Can somebody give me a definition of irregular verb? Son los que cambian cuando son conjugados. Very good. They change when we conjugate 
to past. For example, they completely change. Uh, look at this. Number one. B. This is B, present. Past was, was. where. Right? Next one, become changes to became. became. So, became. si fuera become, si fuera un regular verb, what do we have to do? If this was a regular verb, become was a regular verb, what do we have become to it. do? Very become good, it. become it. But since it is an irregular verb, changes to became. Okay. Next one, begun, begin, begun. Next one, build, build. changes to build. build. Mm -hmm. build. So remember, como no es irregular verb, no es regular verb. We cannot say build it. Is built. Build. Bring changes to brought. Brought. And this one. Oh shoot. Let me do something here. Drive. I, somebody knows about break. What is the past of break? Broke. 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 Next one, but. I, I'm going to give you the definition, just want to write it. Cut, cut. Choose, chose. Okay, just want to write this one. And come, what is the past of come? Come. Pain. Look at this. Come. Become, became, come, came. Uh huh. Now, now you're going to repeat after me. Was, where? Become, became. Was, where? Was, where? Was, where? Repeat after me, please. Become, became. Become, became. Become, became. Become, became, become, became, begin, begun, begin, begun, begun. Next one, build, 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 build. build. Next one, green, brought, bring, brought. Break broke. Break, Break broke. Rock. Buy bought. Buy bought. bought. Catch cut. Catch cut. 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 Uh, long. Let me wait. Choose, chose. Choose, choose, chose. 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 Ah, thank you, Fernando. Come, came. Come, came. came. So irregular verbs change when we conjugate 
in past. Regular verbs, ed. You got it? Now this one, um, which ones? Which ones are regular? Which are, which ones are irregular? Let's see. Alguien que quiera iniciar with the list. Somebody wants to start with the list. Eh, Solo leer o decir cuál es el regular. For example, I'm sorry. For example, thank you, Miss. Was is irregular. Okay. Result is regular. Resulted. Because termina en T, miren, with T. Como termina en T, we say resulted. Continue, somebody else. Record is regular. Very good. But the pronunciation is recorded because finish up now. Finish with D. Recorded. Continue. Growth is irre irregular. Next. Cold is irregular. Could. Is um, irregular. Very good. Design it is regular. Yes. Design, oh my God, designated. Designated. I forgot the pronunciation of this. Continue. I will look for it. So it's irregular. Very good, irregular. Continue, guys. Anybody, you can repeat again, no problem. What is next? This one. Graduated. What? Ah. Graduated is regular. Excellent. Next one. Doubt. It's irregular. Yes. Next one. Wanted is regular. Yes, man. Next one. Began, began is irregular. Excellent, Miss. Talked is irregular. Yes. But the pronunciation of this is, miren, termina en K. 
Very good. Talked. Next one. What is regular? Excellent. Next one. Park is regular. Yes. Very good. And the last Read, one? Read irregular. Now, this is irregular, but it changes in pronunciation. In present, is read, and in past, is red, like the color, red. So these verbs, you can say, I read my book every day. And if you want to say it in past, you have to say, I read my book yesterday. You write the same, but you pronounce differently. Okay. And da -da -da -da. that's about these ones. Not yet. Now let me let me do something here. Fernando. Now um yeah, Fernando studies on Tuesday. Now this one we have these verbs. All of them are irregular. Fly, forget, get up, give, go, have, hear, know, write, make. All of them are irregular. See, if all of them are irregular, Significa esto que, that this one, um, if all of these are irregular, does this mean that we are going to write like this? Slide. Let me see. Like this, sorry. Is this correct? No. No. Why not? No. Because it is irregular. Because it is irregular. Alguien, somebody, by any chance, know the path of flight? No. Flu. 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 So that's about the, yeah, the regular. Okay? So today, nos vamos a quedar ahí. Only con regular verbs and irregular verbs. That's, uh, that's about this one. Now, uh, let me have this to here. Next time we are going to study the simple past and the structure of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you again the presentation for you to study it. Okay. Now, people, um, please study these rules and the pronunciation of the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, stop sharing. And that's, uh, we are going to stop over there with this thing. Anybody has a question? No, teacher. Okay, so anyway, we are going to continue on um, on Monday. 
Probably para no hacer más cansado esto, because the future is so entertaining. We are most probably having um, classes only on Mondays. Uh, and uh, so just, just to study this simple path and we are going to continue. Okay. If you have any question, just let me know. And for now, just practice regular, irregular verbs, pronunciation. Fernando, send links. Yo se lo voy a enviar a los otros grupos. From, um, from this, about regular and irregular verbs. A list of irregular verbs, okay? Now, something else that I forgot. When are we going to know what is a irregular verb and if this verb is a regular verb? How we're going to know is that all the irregular verbs, we are going to memorize them. That's the only way we can know if a verb is regular or irregular. We have to memorize the irregular verbs. The regular verbs, we just have to know the rules. Okay, so we are going to stop for now. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I recorded this on YouTube and uh, because there are some students that could not be here, so they are going to check the link on YouTube in order to, to watch it. Okay, teacher, Questions? Thank you. thank you, Eddie, for answering. Not so let's say goodbye to everybody. Have a good dinner, buen provecho, and good night later. Thank you very much for you. giving your your time a estas clases. So say goodbye to everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.